All right, so hi, second and third grade. So many of you are probably asking, well, what happens if I don't have any crayons or colored pencils or anything like that? Well, you can still complete this assignment with just this pencil. So the idea when you're doing just a pencil drawing is to focus on the things that are closer to you and add more details to them. The things that are farther away get less details. And just like we were learning with our colored pencils, you can make the areas in front brighter while making the areas in back duller. And this is how you're gonna do that. By simply taking your pencil and using value. Value simply is the difference between light and dark. So if I want things to be less important, I give them less detail and make them darker. So in this case, for my mountains, I'm gonna just scribble in not have very much detail at all in my mountains and just have them all kind of be just a little bit gray. Towards the top, I'll leave a little bit of white paper. And what that will do is it'll look like there's a little bit of light shining there. But ultimately, I'm gonna make this darker by filling it in and not having any detail. It's just going to be very scratchy pencil lines. Even my big mountain right over here. Yet again, I'll leave a little bit of white paper at the top to make it look like the sun's hitting it, but the rest I will scribble in. Notice I'm using the side of my pencil. I'm not using the tip of it, and it allows me to cover a lot more area a lot quicker. Okay, now I'm gonna make it slightly darker down by my mountains. And I'm just pressing a little bit harder than I did before. And it'll make those round mountains stand out really nicely. Same over here, come right up against the edge of my little round mountains that are in my middle ground. And I will color in slightly darker. Now the cool thing about this, I can always go back later and I can make any area darker that I need to. Remember, if you want to make an area lighter, you're going to have to use your, so your eraser at home again after you put some down. Okay, so now I'm going to start working on details. So the more detailed something is, the closer it's going to look to you. So the thing that is the closest to me right here, that tree. So I would take my time and I would actually try to make some texture on it some bark all the way around my tree and i'm just going to use some squiggly zigzag lines for that texture remember this is kind of a dead tree so it's not going to look very good i'll also make the knot in my tree the hole there darker almost pitch black. Okay, and I'm gonna make that texture all over the tree. 
Yet again, more details. You add, the closer it's going to look. Okay, now, if I really want this tree to stand out really nicely, then what I can do also is lightly color around it in various places and make it look like little tiny groups of grass. Yet again, the more details the better. I'm going to put some really long pieces of grass here. I'll even put some long pieces of grass here in front of my tree. As you go back, you want to stop with the detail work because your eyes in real life wouldn't see anything that detailed. And so as you get back, maybe it just becomes a light gray scribble. And it's gonna be much lighter than the dark over here. But it'll still fill it in and make it look nice. And mix some of that in with some of your grass details. Okay, so I would continue doing that all in my mountains, okay? Now these trees, they're much farther away. Less detail, it's not as important. Yet again, I'm gonna color them in. And this time I'm gonna go a little darker because when I come and put the lighter value, it'll look nice as I go around it. Okay, just like that. The trees in the middle will have a little more detail, probably not as much as our tree in the front here with our roots, but some more detail. The water, you want it to have lots of nice details here. You might be able to see more rocks and pebbles in the water in the front than you would, say, the water going to the back. And so what you'll do, add those details in. Water moving. Make lines that give the effect of water moving. You're gonna be kind of wavy, squiggly lines that go throughout this part of the water. Make a whole bunch down here. And as you get to this area in the back, you might just have a few. And then when you get to here, well, there's not very many at all. Okay, so we're gonna stop here. I'm gonna let you get to work. This is just a real easy way where you that you can also do this project and have some fun making a landscape. Remember, if it's farther away, less detail, it'll probably be a little darker. If it's in the front, more detail, and it's gonna be lighter so it shows up a little bit better on your drawing. All right, guys, have fun with this. Good luck.